In this census, the actual white alone rakes, those numbers went down. And the more than two rakes went up by over 276%. Wow. And the fact is that the white race um, has increased. It's because of the, primarily because of the Hispanic population, because a lot of us Hispanics, you know, we're white, okay, but mm -hmm. we are you know, either uh, white, Espanol, or Mexicano, but our race is white. So um, in the, from the 2010, the 2010 to the, uh, the 2020 census, the white population increased, but it was predominantly because of the Hispanic ethnic group. Because even, even Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico was, suffered the, the biggest loss in population over the 2020 census, right? So so 11% um, of the island left the island. You know, my, you know, my family moved from Puerto Rico. They didn't migrate from Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. Everybody else migrates, but we moved. Yeah. You know, so coming from Puerto Rico, my daughters were, you know, you know, speaking Spanish. And then I come to Jacksonville, and there's nothing here. We're less than 1% of the population. Uh, there's only one Walmart at the time, and that was the one on San Jose at 295. If we saw Hispanics, we would go to each other's house because it was just a small group. And there was one light from Atlantic and St. John's Bluff to Mayport Road and Atlantic. Everything else between those two lights was just woods. Nothing but woods when we got here in the mid-80s. And to buy Spanish food, we would drive to Orlando. Going to Orlando to buy food was a field trip for us because there, wasn't, there weren't any Hispanic businesses at that time here. There was a couple named Doña Irene and Don Oved. They would haul, they would drive a trailer from Orlando to the Pecan Park flea market to sell verduras and to sell Spanish knickknacks. But if you really wanted to go shopping, you had to go to Orlando. You know, I would buy music at the time because we didn't have anything here. Um, one of the first restaurants was Ed Spanish American Cookery um, from Ed Marcial, very dear friend of mine. Um, he was just, he was turning taste buds upside down. So Ed and, and Havana Jacks were pretty much the first two. Uh -huh. so I'm a Navy lieutenant going into downtown. My uniform lets me in the door. And once I'm in, you're going to be hard pressed to kick me out. Where being Hispanic was the, the thing, you know, in 99, 2000, you know, 93 time frame. So um, I, did, I can't say that I, that, that I, you know, got a lot of discrimination for me directly now mind you it's there but a lot of it is is all lack of education you know so i would educate folks on who i am what i'm doing and then i go in there to bring something to the table i'm bringing you economic development i'm bringing you a culture that you don't know yet i'm bringing you opportunities to increase and disrupt the economy at this at that time I did it, you know, through through cultural events. You know, I remember the first time I went in front of the Tourist Development Council to yeah. get money for a festival, they threw $1,500 at me. And I said, okay, I'll take this, but I'll be back. And I went back for 12 years and I ended up getting over a million dollars in tourist development money because we filled hotels. We got restaurants to get to make money, gasoline stations in the name of economic development. I came to Jacksonville to serve my country, raise my family, and go about my business. And here I am almost 40 years later, still in Jacksonville, loving this town that wants to be a city, 
as and watching it, you know, watching it develop and watching it grow. Thank you.